Okay, so building on my experiences from yesterday, I've now got four solar panels attached directly to the motor. We're on our way from Chichester, over there, to New Haven, about 50 miles over there. We've been going for about one and a half hours, it's just past 8.30 in the morning. We've now got these four solar panels here, attached directly to the back battery. And at the side here, you can see the four solar panels that are attached to the front battery. Then you can see up here, the panels that are permanently attached to the batteries. And they're attached via charge controllers so they won't overcharge the batteries. And now, as usual, there's hardly any wind. And so we're going along mainly on the motor. We're doing about three knots now. And we're maintaining a voltage in those batteries of about 12.5 volts in each one. So it's equalized in each one. And we're maintaining that voltage. And that means that it's the same amount of current going in as out of those batteries. So we're sustainably using the sun to power the motor. And the batteries are really just there as a reservoir. It's about 8.30 in the morning and we have low sun poking through some sparse cloud. Well, it's now 9.30. So now we've got two more panels out here. And also as the sun's come up, I've raised the panels up so that they're a little bit more vertical so they get more sun on them. This is possible by the way they're tied on. You can either have them leaning down below the stanchion post there, or you can shift them up, put them over the stanchion posts, and they rest there, and they're tied on securely. So we've still got the four at the front here, getting good sunlight, and now we've got six at the side, charging the front battery. So you see here, we're at 12.5 volts on the back battery, and 12.5 volts on the front battery, and that's been held for the last half an hour or so. And that means that there's actually very little electricity going in or out of the batteries. It's mainly coming from the solar panels and going directly into the motor. And so the batteries aren't being used up. But as the sun comes up and breaks through this thin cloud, we should get even more power out of the panels and be able to go along a little bit faster. We're going at about three and a half knots now. Okay, it's 9.45 at the moment. We've now turned dead into wind. And the wind's actually picking up a little bit, but because we're going dead into wind, we're taking the sails down and trying to position the boom so that we get as little shade as possible on these permanently wired in solar panels so that they get the maximum amount of power into the motor as well. Okay, it's about 10 o'clock now. And what I've done is I've raised the boom so that it's at about a 45 degree angle with the mast. That's as far as you can raise it easily. And that means that all of these solar panels here are now completely in the sun with no shade. So that means a lot more power will be coming out of those and going into the batteries or into the motor. We're still going along at about three and a half knots now. Okay, I got a bit worried there for a bit because the sun's gone round and we've also changed course. So the sun's now on our starboard side and we've gone down to 11.6 volts in one of the batteries. So what I've done is, you'll see I've moved four of the solar panels from that side to this side and they're now in full sunlight so that means that that front battery that had gone down to 11.6 volts is now back up at 12.2 volts and you'll also see that I've moved these panels at the front round a bit so that they're facing more towards the sun and that's actually doing really well with the back battery and that's also still at 12.3 12.4 volts so we're moving along still at three and a half knots and doing quite well hopefully we'll get to New Haven before nightfall Okay, so the wind's moved round a bit now, which means we can put the sails up again. Sailing close hauled, about four to five knots. There's not that much wind, but it's helping us along, and we've still got the motor going, and the solar panels generating loads of electricity, powering us along. All right, the wind's picked up a bit now. We're sailing close hauled. We've got about seven, eight knots of wind. Still got the motor going, and we're going at about five and a half knots. What's really interesting though, is in front of us, you can see some wind turbines. 
So this is fantastic. We're about to enter this wind farm here. Looks like it's well over 100 wind turbines. And we're powered by the wind and also by the solar panels. And they're powered by the wind, creating renewable energy as well. So we're completely renewable. A renewable wind farm and a renewable boat. We're in the middle of the wind farm now. And I don't know if you can get a sense of the scale of this, but these are absolutely massive. They're probably about 10 times as high as this boat. This is to try to give you some sense of scale of these. They're spaced about 400 metres apart. I think they must be a bit over 100 metres tall. And each blade must be about 50 metres long. So we're just leaving the wind farm now. And what I didn't realise was how many boats you have servicing these windmills. So we have over here a couple of boats near that. And there's another boat there that's just left that windmill. There's another boat tucked in there. Another boat just leaving service in that windmill. And there's another boat over here that's scooting towards the mainland. Right, we're just arriving in New Haven now. You can see in the far distance the wind farm there. And we're just going past the lighthouse here. We've used up quite a lot of the batteries now, the sun's quite low, so we're actually down at 11.9 and 12.1 volts. But then, as soon as we stop, those will start charging up from the solar panels as well, from the light that's left from the sun. So we arrived in New Haven early this evening. It's now just 10 to 9, and this is what's arrived. 